Hey guys, this is Empire Twinkie here. Now today we have Coco Bloom versus Edge X. No, this is not a RTS Sanctuary tournament match, but nevertheless, it is a very exciting match that Coco has sent us. Now, for the tournament, you can stay tuned on our channel because Empire Woody will have coverage on many games from the tournament soon to come. So right away, we have Coco who has started scouting the north of the map, but changed his mind and decided to scout the bottom part of the map. Now, Coco also started with the standard storage house next to the berries, and he also started building a storage house next to the wood. So Coco has scouted already two gold mines and two berries. He, he also actually scouted another berry bush and two cows. Now, scouting those two cows is very important because it will save him a lot of time later in the game scouting for extra food, and that is 400 food that will be right next to his town center. So now we have more scouting from Coco at the moment. He should be able to find Edge at this moment. Very soon he should be able to scout his enemy. So for, he's got another. No, yes, he did scout Edge X right now. Edge X is barely building his storage house now. We should see a watch post. Yes, we do see a watch post from Coco at this moment. Now, he has to cancel that watch post because he built it a little too close to the town center. Now, he's going to sacrifice a lot of health on his scout because he has to rebuild the new watch post and Edge's X scout is right next to him. So, he lost a lot of health. Lucky to be alive if you ask me. He has left with less than a quarter of his health. So, now Coco is going to continue scouting and that watch post that he just built is going to be taken up by Edge's scout rather soon. So more scouting from Coco. Let's see what he finds. He has found another more berry bushes. He has found a gold mine. So he has got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total gold mines. Eight gold mines. And he also found two more cows. So that's 400 food from the cows. Those two cows, I believe, actually belong to Edge Egg, but he was too slow on the scout there. So that's what he lost out on. So the watch post from Coco is actually going down, but he is building another watch post south of Edge's base. <clears throat> so we have two villagers, make that four villagers on berries for Coco, and the rest will be on wood. So Edge X, actually I have not seen how many villagers or woodworkers he has at this moment. <clears throat> so we are two minutes and 30 seconds into the game. The cows are just rolling in for Coco that he scouted around Edge's X base. More scouting for Coco. Oh, we actually Edge X has just scouted Coco at this moment with the scout. He may or may not throw he he's not throwing a watch post that we can see, but he may put up a watch post under Coco's base just like Coco put on Edge X. So we actually have the first archery range and a first stable for Coco. So we will see military units right away. And at three minutes into the game, Coco is building a storage house next to his gold mine and about to mine it as soon as the storage house is built. And he also threw up a house to increase his population. So Coco Scout is taking a little damage from the wolves up north, but he is continuing to scout for more berries, more stone, or more gold at this moment. So real soon we should see military units from Coco. Cannot see what Edge X is building because Coco has not gone to see what he is building. Observer mode would be really helpful for me at this moment right now. But Coco should definitely check out what Edge X is building. So we have another watch post that just went up for Coco. And we on the mini as you saw, you saw the little blue dot. So that meant the scout or a cavalry from Edge X is going to scout Coco at this moment. So real soon we will see what that is. We actually have harassment from Edge X on the bottom of Coco's base. Two like cavalry attacking the villagers. Now he is attacking a archer from Coco. Coco microwaving his archer, trying to save. He does not save from his archer from the two cavalry. He has Coco now has archery cavalry. Now Edge has three cavalry. Very early harassment from Edge X here. He should probably be attacking the villagers. I really agree with the idea of attacking the villagers to slow down the economy of Coco here. That could really help him out throughout the mid game. But we just see her more cavalry reinforcements from Edge X attacking the military units of Coco. He is going to kill that cavalry. He is focusing on one cavalry. Okay, Coco is going to try and micro that. 
oh, he's not microwaving it away. He's going to, okay, he's going to let it die. It may just die. Yes, it is going, oh, oh, he saved it. He is going to save his, never mind. You see the little arrow it took him out. Sorry about that. But we have more harassment from Edge X attacking the villagers on the bottom of Coco's base. Coco just realized he's sending in his three cavalry to attack the one cavalry. Very good harassment from Edgex, slowing down the economy of Coco at this moment. Edgex is re retreating from the battle. Coco is not going to chase him. So, but Coco does have two watch posts with great vision on Edgex's base. But Ed but Coco is not using that to his advantage. He has not looked over to see what Edgex is building. So Coco is now expanding his base north. He just built a storage house f so he could farm trees. Uh, north from his base so when edge x comes to harass more he will hopefully not find the villagers up north <clears throat> so we have military units being produced from coco we actually have harassment from edge x again attacking the villagers on the north of coco's base four cavalry units he is just trying to pick up a few villagers retreating from the town center so we have the military units for coco we have a few archers and cavalry units he is building spearmen now to slow down the cavalry units that Edge X is using to harass. On the mini you see Edge X is harassing again, harassing the military units from Coco. I'm sorry, the harassing Coco's villagers. He is taking out a few villagers. He is oh he did not take out that villager there. So I one hit more harassment from the bottom of Coco's base. Coco does now have enough units to defend against Edge X harassment. So Coco is building a large force. A large miniature force and actually we actually have more villages being built from Coco to continue farming more gold oh Coco just found edges X expansion to the gold mine so Coco and we actually have harassment in return from edge X on the villages of Coco but Coco is also he may have taken out one villager from edge X I know Coco is under attack edge X did take out at least one to two villagers at the base by the tree line very good harassment from both players. Very good from Edge X. I must give my hat off to you. Very good harassment from you. Oh, wow. How many spearmen actually took out those cavalry units? Did not, was not able to see the action there. Damn you, Observer Mode. On the main map, we do see Coco harassing Edge X. He is not paying attention to his units, so they are most likely going to die, but we do have harassment. Wow, we actually do have good harassment from Coco. Um, Edge X mostly retreated his villagers into the town center so he was not lose them. But we have no military units of Edge X at his base. So Coco is free to roam. He has found an expansion from Edge X. He has taken out that villager. He should have taken out that villager at that storage farming. I'm sorry, I need some water. <sighs> okay, so we have Coco expanding his base to the bottom tree line of the map. Coco moving on with units to put harassment on Edgex on the south of his base. Wow, this is a very exciting match we have here, ladies and gentlemen. So, more military structures being built by Coco so he can mass produce more units. Preferably, I believe, oh, we have, har sorry, we have harassment from Coco trying to attack the villagers, get a few picks off of them. As I was saying, he is building more barracks to build more spearmen because Edgex is building a lot of cavalry. So spearmen are very effective against cavalry. So now we have Edgex using cavalry to defend his base. We have an engagement spearmen and archers versus cavalry. Archers are attacking freely from behind the spearmen. Spearmen are very strong against the, ar the cavalry. So now on the main map, you can see Edgex is being under attack from Coco. I wish we had observer mode. Yes, okay, we are now seeing the battle. Edge X is under attack from Coco. Coco is attacking the military units of Edge X and the villagers using archers. So Coco is now returning the harassment that Edge X has been putting on Coco in the beginning of the match. So now the pressure is on Edge X. So now we have a little micro from Coco luring the cavalry of Edge X out into the open away from that tower that was attacking Coco. So now Coco is building more houses to make more units. We have an engagement again from Coco. A lot of cavalry actually versus a small amount of Edge's X units. So that was a, I don't know if Edge X units were lowered all the way out there or what happened. But Edge X is losing a lot of units recently. So 
we have more unit production from Coco at this moment. On the media, as you can see, we have Coco moving out to the left side of the map. Military units, he has cavalry and archers and maybe a few spearmen. Or it may be a lot of spearmen. No, we have a lot of archers. We have cavalry. I believe he's going to harass Edgex. Oh, Edgex is returning the harassment on the bottom of Coco's base. But on the top of Edgex's base, we have harassment from Coco. A lot of archers, a lot of cavalry. Coco, Edgex is taking a lot of damage here from the archers. Coco is also under attack from Edge X. Edge X has Calvary and Coco's base the, under the fog of war. There they are, attack, Calvary attacking the gold, the gold mine of Coco. Coco Edge X trying to pick off stuff, but now he is retreating. Edge X is retreating to the north of the map, probably to flank the archers that are in his base right now. So the towers are the only ones doing damage really to Coco's units that are harassing Edge X. So, Edgex is actually retreating his cavalry to the gold mine on top of the mini map. I don't know if he's saving them for a later flank or what, but Coco is harassing Edge's X on the mini map. Okay, Coco's last unit just died on the mini map. So, Edge X is not taking any harassment right now. Okay, Edge X is moving his cavalry. Will they be caught by the Coco Spearmen? No, the Spearmen are too slow for Coco. So, the cavalry is rushing into Coco's base. We should see some more harassment from Edgex at the moment. <clears throat> yes, on the mina, as you can see, the cavalry is attacking the villagers from Coco. Now the spearmen, we have one, two, three, four, five spearmen versus and cavalry with an archer versus those cavalry from Edgex. Now we have more harassment from Coco. Archers and like cavalry attacking the villagers and the cavalry from Edgex. Uh, on the mina, okay, so. The cavalry that was harassing Coco's base is now dead. I believe. Yes, Coco is now moving out with his units to put harassment. We have an engagement by the watch post. Archers and cavalry fighting at Coco's watch post on the north of Edges X base. Very exciting match, ladies and gentlemen. Very exciting. So we have a storage house going up for Coco. Okay, on the map, we have more engagement. Coco, I believe Coco's units were lured into Edges X's units. And Edgex took opportunity and sent more units to take out the little force that Coco had up there. So more reinforcements from Coco moving towards Edge's X base. Okay, I believe Coco, yes, he has built three stables there to increase his population of his cavalry. Because Edgex is building a lot of cavalry, so his army is faster than Coco's at the moment. Coco is sending villagers to farm. He is sending villagers to expand. To farm gold and berries at the moment, which I believe he should be building berries, which he may build berries. Building many houses to max out his population. He does have a nice... Excuse me, sorry about that. Coco spotted a watchtower that Edgex built. He should be taking it out. So now, Coco's watch post is under attack from cavalry units. Edgex sees the units from Coco coming to stop his cavalry from taking out that watch post. Coco does have spearmen. Spearmen are very strong against cavalry, which is why Edge X is retreating from that battle. Edge X does not want to fight those spearmen. Coco actually should fight that battle. That battle favors Coco so much because spearmen are so effective against cavalry. So as you can see, more poking going on at the tower. Edge X really wants to take out that tower, so there is no vision that Coco would have of whatever Edge X should build or when he moves out to attack Coco. More poking going on on that mini map. He really wants to take out that tower. So Edge X is gonna try and take out that tower. Coco is not gonna let him get it that easy. More <laughs> running back and forth. We may see an engagement real soon. So yes, okay. Here we have Edge X. No, he's he does not know what to do. He does not know whether to fight or retreat. Edge X should really not fight this match. Coco is not going to leave his units up there because that fight really favors Coco. So if Edge X comes to fight, those spearmen should win. So he knows that and he is going to leave his units right there. So we have more building houses from Coco, more expanding of his economy. Oh, he has taken off his villagers from the tree line to build the population by building the houses. He's building more storage houses by the berries. To